The Jefferson County Department of Health is reacting to the American Academy of Pediatrics latest guidance on childhood obesity. Yeah, the Academy is saying the goal is to help families make changes to a more sustainable lifestyle, but it also includes surgery on children who are overweight. Our Chastity Maxey joins us now live to tell us more about that reaction, Chastity. Sarah and Brittany, the Academy says more than 14 million children and teens are considered obese. And doctors say it's time to start looking at obesity as a chronic disease that does not have a one size fits all solution. Dr. Kalila Brown says there are many factors that contribute to childhood obesity, including genetics, environment, and socioeconomic status. She says the issue is only getting worse in our country and traditional approaches to fix it aren't working. Our traditional thinking was kind of watchful waiting, talking to them about diet and nutrition, and hoping that things would improve by the time they reached, you know, late teens, early adulthood. We have found that that is not the case. And so just trying to put everybody into one basket is not the answer. The American Academy of Pediatrics updated its guidance on childhood obesity for the first time in 15 years. That means nutrition support and increased physical activity for children as young as two years old. For teens 13 and older, that could also include medication and possibly surgery. We hope to not have to do bariatric surgery, but what the AAP is saying that when you get to that point and no other measures are effective, it is completely appropriate in a child 13 or greater to do bariatric surgery to change the projection of their mortality for their life. The guidance may be controversial for some, but Dr. Brown says the issue is deeper than just diet and exercise. We've got to create this kind of comprehensive environment for our children um, from beginning to end everywhere they touch that we're helping them um, work on the things that would contribute to their obesity and these chronic um, comorbidities. Now, Dr. Brown says children and families would have to complete an extensive program before they would be granted that weight loss surgery, and that would include meeting face to face with a nutritionist, um, social workers, and also doctors. And they say that it's a very uh, hectic lifestyle, and it's also a big commitment for those families and the child. Reporting live in Jefferson County, Chastity Maxey, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side. All right.